world champion. The cerebral assassin. One of the all-time greats. Trailblazing, revolutionary. But disrespect. You have to respect the animal. kissing up to the boss, Byron, but that assessment's actually pretty spot on. Well, thanks. Vicious strike. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Drop down. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Thunderous slam. He's on the defensive here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Oh, what a backbreaker. Man, just ugly impact. He's got him here. He's got him on the sidewalk. Slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Ooh, what impact. Delicious power slam. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. See if he takes the bait. Oh, good night. Sorry. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. What a punch. Oh, what a slam. Landed him. 
Triple H has made the pedigree an iconic finishing maneuver. Triple H proved how destructive he could be when he flattened Seth Rollins with the pedigree, giving Kevin Owens the win and the Raw Universal Championship. Oof! Elbow drop with authority. And the animal is all fired up. Close line! He's looking a little off balance. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. From Triple H's earliest days in WWE, the game is called upon the pedigree to put his opponents away. The maneuver, like the man known as the King of Kings, has only become more powerful over time. The Cerebral Assassin has proved that the pedigree is not only a way to defeat opponents, but the maneuver is an asset in keeping people in line. Triple H likes to... Oh, what now? Looks like we got company, Cole. Suplex. Beautiful technique. When it's planned. Boy, that's the truth. Ooh. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, earth shattering spine buster. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. And a kick out. The animal refusing to be tamed. It's going to take a whole lot more than that. Batista returned to WWE in 2014 in the best shape of his career. The animal entered the Royal Rumble match and stood nose to nose with upstart Roman Reigns. Uh, it, Triple H climbing the table. Look out, guys. Things have gotten worse for Batista. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. I want to go back to Batista's 2014 Royal Rumble win. The WWE Universe could not have voiced more displeasure at the fact that Batista won, even when he faced off against the much despised members of the Shield. Yeah, it wasn't the hero's return he expected, but that didn't stop the animal from crushing everything in Ouch. sight on his road to WrestleMania. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. Nailed it! Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. Back inside the ring now. You gotta believe this one's over. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Oh, this will damage your back. This one is over. Harsh impact. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. If you paid attention to WWE history, then you know it will not serve you well to try to get into a wrestling match with Triple H. Holds, grapples, reversals, counterattacks. The game has done it all and has seen it all in this business. Just attacking the back. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, pedigree! Wow, I'm just a... Into the quick cover! Corey, you brought up a great point, and it's something everyone needs to remember. A superstar can't expect... Yes!